Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. Today we are finishing Big Wave Beach, at least that's the hope we're gonna be doing level 25 through to 32 and hopefully defeat Zomboss along the way. I'm sure it's gonna be difficult. Last episode was absolutely treacherous. Let's see how level 25 goes. We'll get a pinata for completing it. I am nervous. I am so worried that's gonna be a super difficult level. But well, there's really only one way to find out, and that's just to sort of give it our best shot and hope for the best. So, we need to spend no more than 3,000 sun and defeat 10 zombies in five seconds. Okay, that, that second one seems a bit odd. We'll have to defeat 10 zombies in five seconds. That's quite a lot of zombies and not a lot of time. So I'm gonna use sunflower, all of this stuff. The best way to defeat 10 zombies in five seconds will probably be a combination of plants. I do get the banana launcher soon, but I don't quite have them. I was hoping I'd have them by now, but I do not. Huh. Um, maybe more rotabaga just in case. And along with that, I feel like maybe now is more of a potential to try something like this. Who knows? I don't. I'll hope for the best. Maybe I could have done twin sunflower and it might have worked. See, def defeating, maybe I should have done, then I don't know. I mean, if we could get a really good bowling bulb thing set up, like that'd be perfect. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, you are definitely gonna get seaweeded, or tangle kelp, or whatever it is. And this is where things become a bit problematic, but I think we can make it work by doing that. And just keep things moving for now. What I'll try to do, yeah, he's just gonna have to eat through that lily pad. I'll do this to him, but, hmm. Okay, this is actually quickly getting overwhelming. Uh, That might not be enough. He might actually end up getting activated, which would be a total shame. I, I probably should have gotten Infonet. Oh, I should have. Uh, yep, he, and he, it was, that stinks too, because it was just about to go by. Um, I'm thinking then I can snag you so that I don't have to miss out. Oh no. Oh boy. Yeah, this is, isn't gonna work, is it? This is where it'd be really nice to have Banana Launcher. But we do not have Banana Launcher. <laughs> That is for sure. Yeah, I need some kind of walnut, I think. Oh boy. Can you get that zombie on the top or what? I'm gonna do that. Yeah, this isn't working out. I just feel like I always try to work with the plants the game gives me, like in that world, and they usually just don't end up going the way I need them to. It's just bizarre how it just never works out that way. I mean, the fisherman zombies are just like the biggest pains in the butt of all time. Yeah, I'm already feeling like I'm gonna have to restart this level. This is not the way I'm supposed to do this because there's just, there's too much going on there. I would love to use that tile more, the, the the onion tile or whatever it is, you know. But I can't, I just, I can't do it in that situation. Some people were suggesting that Tall Nut actually blocks the fisherman's hook. We'll have to see if that's the case. I, I feel like maybe now is a good time to experiment before we run into more difficult things. And then I need like a cherry bomb. I need it, right? Like I, I would imagine. Just to get rid of more zombies that way would be great. So we'll try it. I mean, maybe I pro probably should have gotten something that'll get rid of uh, snorkel zombies a bit more too. Uh, I don't know. But I'm supposed to spend no more than 3,000 suns. So that's where it gets really, really picky. I don't really know what the best bet is there. I just don't like this level already. I gotta be honest, I am not so interested in what's going on here. Uh, but I'll do what I can, as per usual. I'll get a guacodile here. And I'll just spend as little sun as possible, which is usually still gonna end up being as much as I possibly can. Yeah, I don't know if this was the best idea either. But it's like, what is the best idea? Because at this point, that seems totally nondescript. Okay, come on, can I get a guacada? I don't even know what I'm getting for this guy. I don't think this is gonna work either. Like, I I just need to like, oh my gosh, I don't know. <laughs> I need something cheaper and more accessible than a guacadile is. Something really cheap. Well, when we're talking about cheap, what is cheaper than puff shrooms and sun shrooms? I don't know, so we'll try it. Um, maybe that will actually help because it will scale a little bit better, so I'll try it. We'll see what ends up happening and we'll see if I totally regret it or not. I mean, I'll definitely still be using Tangle Kelp where I need to, but this is, might be able to help me survive for a little bit longer. 
So yeah, I'm gonna give it my best shot. We'll see how it goes. At least at first, this should be better. Here, I'll put that there. I'll sort of do the same thing in some several different places and just sort of see how that works out. It might work out quite well. It also might not. I'll <laughs> have to wait and see, it's to be determined, I suppose. I'm gonna do that, this, and that. Okay, not bad, not bad, but you are bad. You are very not good. Leave that Sunshroom alone, you're such a bully. I mean, maybe that's where I could have actually tried this. Whoa, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna get that there just for now. Just for now, just continue surviving. I do have a tangle, you're a jerk! Okay, so that doesn't work. That does not work, I was hoping it would. I don't know, I haven't found too many good uses for uh, Taunuts in this game so far. Like, they were really, really useful in the original, but not so much here. Okay, got that. Oh, I'd really like to not have to, don't eat that rotabaga, thank you. Okay, that's actually not so bad. I'm gonna have to do something here, and then more Sunshroom. More Sunshroom would be great. Oh my gosh, this is already ridiculous but I think it's doable. Oh, well, here come the surfing zombies. Maybe I should have held my breath a little bit more. No, 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 hold on. Ready, go. That was actually a pretty good one. Not bad, but will it be enough? Most likely not. Will this work or will that? Yeah, he'll stop the, still drop the surfboard there. Just great, just great. Uh, Do this, come on. I just, I don't even know what to do about all this. <laughs> like, I would love to get some of the bowling bulbs up, but I just don't make enough sun. And I also haven't destroyed enough zombies in a short amount of time, but we still have a couple more flags for that one. I'm sure that's gonna become a thing later on. Okay, let's do this. That was an okay amount. Only an okay amount, I needed a spectacular amount, so that didn't work out at all. Oh no, they're catching up. They're starting to really catch up here. They're eating through those rotabagas like they're nothing. I'll do this here. I'll get some more sun shrooms, but like, I would need this bowling bulb to really work for me like right now. Let's see if this will destroy 10 zombies. It probably won't. Is there even 10 zombies here? Oh, almost, almost, it did it! Nice, okay, that's actually working then, okay. I need more rotabagas as soon as possible, as soon as physically possible, because I'm like totally out right now, and that's not good. Uh, Get this guy out of here, he needs to be gone. Oh my gosh, stop doing that. Come on, come on. I feel like this is actually doable though. I don't have too much sun left as a problem to spend. I just wish it would leave the rotabagas alone. Obviously, I can't really do too much in terms of actually protecting them right now. I'm like, I'm doing what I can, but. Ah. Uh, you're kidding me. Right now, I'm just gonna do dual twin sunflowers. Not twin sunflowers. I don't know why I'm thinking that. But dual lane of sun shrooms is probably my best bet. Probably should just use a puff from against him. Gonna be a bit more like just careful. As careful as I could be. Maybe no rotabagas. Maybe it would just be better just to keep with bowling bulbs. I don't know. Honestly, don't know what's gonna be actually best here. Uh, I'm gonna have to get rid of at least one of these guys. Then do that. Then do this. I need to slow things down for sure. I could actually already afford one of these. I feel like I need to get them set up as soon as possible. So we'll try that out. And I do have the infinite now. I think that that's gonna be something worth my while to do is to set up the infinite. Uh, in the meantime, a second puff stream wouldn't be too bad. And I wanna set this guy up somewhere. It's gonna get real expensive real quickly though. That's the problem. That's a really big problem. Don't you dare. Thank you. And that's why I need the infinite set up like right away. Uh, you don't have a puff shroom against you right now. Probably should have had that set up a while ago. No, I didn't want a sun shroom there. Gosh darn it, gosh darn it. Come on, please, please, please. Let that be enough to get rid of him. Because if not, I'm in like big trouble. This is really frustrating, because now he's messing up everything. And that's gonna send me way behind on sun. Is this attacking him or what? It wasn't even attacking him. Oh, that is upsetting. Okay, I just need like a moment. Like a moment to think, and the game's gonna refuse to give that to me. Oh my gosh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, get him, don't eat that bowling bulb. <laughs> it is, it's like, oh, I just, this might work, I just need to do it better, and sometimes that just means getting lucky. 
All right, I'm immediately gonna try to block this guy off with the infinite. It sorta kind of worked, sorta kind of didn't. Maybe next time we'll be a little bit better. There we go. I don't know if this is actually gonna reach him. Yeah, not looking like it. Okay, so I need to dig this guy up so we can get that there. Get more bowling bulbs out. I already got three out of the five I need, so that's at least a good sign. If we can dedicate all of our plant food to the infinite, that should up our chances quite a lot here of survival. Well, not all of it, because I do need some of it for taking care of hen zombies and like surviving, but like maybe some of it can go to infinite, some of it's this other stuff, you know? Come on, there we go. So there's all the bowling bulbs. I could do another five, but that'd leave me with only 600 sun left. I don't know how good of an idea that is. Maybe rotabagas are my best bet, just for at least a couple of areas. Okay, it looks like this is about the bust, the infinite. But there's really not too much more I can do about it, except what I'm already doing. Okay, if we can get rid of that surfer zombie as soon as possible, that's gonna be plant food that I can immediately give to this again, you're kidding me. <laughs> okay, well that sorta of kinda of didn't work out, but I mean the wall is still up. So you know what, now's the time, now's the time, now's the time. And some of those zombies are exploding everywhere. We can try to do it again. I think that was an okay idea. We got all the zombies we needed destroyed, so at least that's nice. Now I just need to try to make everything survive for the infinite. No, leave that alone. I don't have too much sun left over. Wow, okay. So the infinite's back up, I don't have the plant food. We can just keep surviving. Okay, that guy has plant food up there, so that's good. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you're gonna get rid of my sun's room, because you're not nice. Surprise, surprise. Oh man, you got rid of the infinite too, come on. I just need that plant food over there. Come on, ah oh, man, it's just, it's right there. Don't do that, come on. This game is so evil. No, I'm losing everything here. There's nothing I can do because I need to get rid of this guy and there's too many zombies in the way. No, I'm done. I can't, I can't, I messed it up. I was so close to sort of figuring it out there, but I let too much happen at once. That's a shame. I could like set this up again. And like that's about all I can do. So I might as well like activate this. And just keep it going. Probably should have activated that somewhere else. Yeah, this is done. This is a bust, unfortunately. I mean, if I could find a way to protect that bottom lane, technically I could win this. Okay, if the bottom lane is not touched, the lawnmowers will save me. And honestly, that's quite tempting. <laughs> uh, looks like that's the case. Um, I can't spend any more sun. I can spend 20 more, five more sun. I'm not even gonna waste the chance there. The lawnmower should save me. It is super upsetting I had to do the lawnmowers will save me strat, but yeah, I gotta, I've spent 15 minutes, actually 20 minutes on this first level. I still have seven more to go. At that rate, that's like a two hour long video. I can't do that. So I just need to take what I can get. A win is a win. We're moving on. I'm not having too much fun with, the, with some of these big wave beach levels. Anyways, as you can see, we get 100 coins, three experience for the bowling ball. We gotta give that that level up. I forgot to do that, I guess, huh? Alrighty, well, there's that done. All righty, some more big wave beach action. Okay, this time at least it's like an auto-scrolling thing. Like I feel like this is more handleable. It's not some kind of ridiculous request they're giving me. Of like, hey, destroy 5,000 zombies with one pea shooter. I'm sure you can do it. <laughs> okay, well, uh, right now all I have is one banana to defend me. And also walnuts, lots of walnuts. Okay, here we go. Get rid of that guy first, because he's obviously more of a threat, even though the other guy did have plant food, but this is still the better idea. Oh, here we go. Oh, that actually didn't destroy him. That's a bit concerning. Get another banana launcher. I'm glad we're getting a lot of them. We're not just getting three, we're getting several. Banana launchers are so much fun. I cannot wait to unlock this plant. It's just gonna be fun to use. Uh, I'm gonna land that right there. There we go. There is a walnut in every lane. Definitely getting this here. Just trying to earn up that plant food for when I need it, because I'm inevitably going to need it. That is a guarantee. I gotta get rid of the surfers immediately, because if not, they'll go over my walnut, and I'll just be messy. This is like a lot to micromanage here. That's what's scary and tough about this one, specifically. I'm gonna have to start building out lily pads back here. Okay. Just for the sole purpose of 
making sure that if I get more banana launches, I actually have a place to put them. I don't think I'm going to. I think this is gonna be the maximum we have, just about. Unless, like, you know, they give us some once we lose some. Because that might end up happening. I really hope it doesn't. Here come the surfers, and I'm not prepared for them. Okay, this is where we use plant food then. If I'm not prepared, I gotta cough up the food. There we go. That didn't really get rid of all of them, though, unfortunately. Okay, uh, let's not use the plant food just yet. I can get this guy. Yep, I got him. Get this group and that down there. There we go. Trying to, I, I might have wanted to put the walnuts even closer. That way everybody gets grouped up like right away as soon as possible. I'm gonna do another plant food, I think. Not too bad of a deal. Okay, here comes a gargantuar. Now I gotta use another plant food. Watch it. Plenty of imps making their way in, and this isn't even the huge wave. That's a problem. Okay, get the imp. We need to protect these bananas at all costs. Okay, plant food. Not too bad, actually. Whoa, that's bad. Get rid of that. And this is the last big wave, so I can do this again, and that won't be too bad. There we go, got rid of him. This is, they actually gave us an easy level, I can't believe it. I can't believe it, they had it in their hearts. Pop, there's a kind soul that's also a level designer somewhere in PopCap. How cool is that? <laughs> All right, well I didn't, I didn't see what that achievement said, but you know, I'm glad to get it, whatever it was. Okay, day 26 done, <laughs> that's good. What do we get? We get a bag of coins. Level objectives for day 27, survive the zombie attack with most plants picked for you. You know, that usually means this is gonna be really good or really bad. So we got twin sunflower, lily pad, walnut, bong choy, and banana. Wow, they're 500 sun? Okay, now I'm not as so excited to use them. <laughs> That's so expensive! Oh uh, no, okay, so you know what I gotta do? I got the lily pad chosen for me, but I'm gonna get the, I mean, actually, I want something affordable in terms of fighting these guys off. I sort of see what it's trying to get with, with this uh, bong choy strategy. It seems interesting. Might do like Rotobega. Let's try it. Try to play by the game's rules here. And we'll see how it goes. And there's no, oh my gosh, there's no land whatsoever. I'm in trouble. This really just depends on what zombies they give us first. Like, obviously I'm gonna get rid of him immediately. I'm in so much trouble. This is already getting me super stressed out. Uh, Cause I need 150 sun to get rid of those, or one of those dudes. Come on, come on, come on. A little bit more sun, a little bit more sun. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Come on, sun, sun, sun. Sun, there it is, jeez. And that wasn't 150, okay, never mind. <laughs> well, that was a waste. Uh, there, there, okay? Jeez Louise. What can I do next? Um, I guess I'll just put another Twin Sunflower down for now and hope for the best. This is where things are, hopefully, I can only hope, get a little bit more exponential. Come on, I just need one more sun. There it is, Bong Choy. Keep it moving. Try that. I need another lily pad as soon as the game's willing to give me one. I really hope that following the game strategy that it is giving me will actually be enough. <laughs> Cause I have a feeling it may not be. And that's really concerning. If even their own strategies aren't good enough, well it is. Come on, come on, got it. Oh boy, so I need 75 sun to set up this one walnut. I think that'll be best. I don't know. Uh, oh, please don't eat that bong choy. Please don't eat that bong choy. You're gonna eat that bong choy, aren't you? Oh, just barely didn't, thank you. Got it? Come on. No surfing zombies popping up just yet. What I like to see, I guess. Now I'm starting to earn up more sun now. Soon enough I can start getting the banana launchers and that'll be absolutely beautiful, but not yet. Here, there we go, whew, that was close. Um, seaweed this guy, I think. Maybe not entirely necessary, I guess not. Uh, 
Okay, that, I got that going on. Oh no. No, 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 no. Um, stop doing that. This guy is just mean. And then you back here, mean doesn't even begin to describe this guy. And this is where it's just like, okay, well, I had fun. Like I can get that, and then banana launcher time right there. You just drag all those plants in the water, why don't you? They didn't have feelings or anything. Use seaweed against this guy. And then like, why did I do that? That's not gonna help. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. That's not a good placement for that. Not really what I meant to do, but it's all I had. Okay, I got a banana pulp, that guy. Banana launch, whatever, you know. It's not really a pulting type of plant. I need more, but I'm not gonna get more. <laughs> That's a shame. If I get some plant food here, I might have to actually use it on the banana bolt. So like, get that there, get the plant food, launch everybody far, far away, do this, and then hope I can get some more sun before the tide raises, because if not, I'm in big trouble. Okay, do this. There we go. I was, if not, I was gonna be out 500 sun, which would make me cry. <laughs> not really, but like, just like, geez, it's so crazy tough. The Wanits are holding on like champs, so I gotta say, I'm super proud of them. And then, oh no, that, yeah, that bunker, that was, that was poor placement by me, I have to admit. There we go. Got another banana pole, I think I'm gonna put it there because it, that poor uh, bunk choy is getting closed in on. I gotta save my, Tangle Kelp? Tangle, yeah, that's what it is, Tangle Kelp. Exclusively, like absolutely exclusively for the fisherman zombies. In the meantime, we can get another one of these. Here they are, is what I'm saying, exclusivity. Did that work? It did work. Okay, do this, get that, banana launch it. I didn't even realize I had more. Come on, that got rid of some, but not all. There we go. Oh boy, now we're in trouble again, big trouble. More bananas, I need more bananas, Tangle Kelp. Oh, leave my bong choy alone. More bananas, banana, banana. Okay, got a problem over this way. It needs to be solved pronto. Get that going on there, get this guy out of here. Oh man, it's doable, I know it's doable. We just gotta keep going. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Lily pad and bong choy there. I know another swimming zombie's gonna show up any moment. And I'll be ready for him. Okay, got it. That's pretty good, actually. Not too bad. Come on. I'm just gonna do two bong choys. Show him who's boss. Wait, was that it? Wait, no way! No way, I thought there was gonna be another huge wave. <laughs> we did it! I can't believe it! It was a success! All right, I'll keep that strategy in mind. All right, we got the banana launcher. Tap on banana, then a tile to launch explosive banana. Banana. <laughs> All right, so let's see what our travel log uh, reward will be. Of course, it's gonna be another pinata, hopefully full of wonderful, wonderful experience. We get another 100 coins. We got two experience for the banana launcher. That makes it eight out of 10. Five experience for the guacodile, 15 out of 50. A bonus five for the torchwood. Sure, why not? Don't know why we're getting the torchwood. Cool to see it. And we're gonna move over and see our next thing. Of course, it's gonna be fight Dr. Zomboss. Quash the querulous Dr. Zomboss and earn your trophy in this surfing struggle on Big Wave Beach, day 32, which we'll be doing at the very end of today's episode. Saying that there's more though. Oh, there is, okay. The 40 seed packets, we get like one gem or something. I don't know. Day 28, level objectives. Don't lose more than five plants. Oh, that's not happening. Especially if uh, Tangle Kelp counts. Oh, we're in so much trouble. Probably should check if that's the case. I don't know, maybe I should do, like, like I can't do Twin Sunflower and also start with Tangle, like not start with Tangle Kelp, right? I mean, I could try it. What do we have to lose? We'll just have to try again. It's the Fisherman Zombie that makes that entire deal more difficult, which is the Fisherman Zombie here? Actually, he may not be. 
Hey, I don't think he, no, wait, he's right there. Okay, never mind. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Oh, what do you do? Um, I'll try it and see if it gives me a warning. Because if it does, then we know, you know? Um, Rotobega. And infinite, where's infinite at? Right there. I right, say so using entangled kelp counts as losing a plant for this level. Are you sure you want to continue? Repick. Sorry, tangled kelp, not happening today. If I can somehow earn the sun, uh, like, I don't know. Uh. Oh geez, you know, let me get some level ups real fast, because I think we have one, right? We have one for Bully Bulb. Yep, let's get that, because I'm gonna use him. Thousand coins, well worth it. We get up on recharge, toughness, and damage. Okay. I don't know what we should do for this last plant. Maybe it should be a throwaway. I feel like this one's just gonna take a couple of attempts. We'll have to figure it out and then move on from there. But, like, I think the Invina is our best bet. Uh, I could do like a last second bonk toy kind of thing if we need it. I don't think that'll be a good idea. I'm already having second thoughts about this. Uh, well for right now, I'll get some twin sunflowers set up. This is gonna take a couple of attempts. I can feel it. You know, it's one of those levels. Uh, if I could somehow, yeah, get 200 sun and bowling ball this guy immediately. That could actually be my best bet. It could also be absolutely the worst idea depending on how the bowling bulbs bounce and what else I have to use to deal with these guys. Come on, come on, come on. I could just get one more bowling bulb. <laughs> you never know, that might actually work out quite well. Get that. Come on. No, there's too many zombies. Too many, too many, too many. Okay, I got this. This twin sunflower hasn't like produced sun like its entire existence. Like, come on. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Okay, that's at least a little bit better. I need another twin sunflower, but now I need to save up 200 sun for the one on the bottom. Because if we lose a lily pad, that also counts as losing a plant. As ridiculous as that sounds, it's definitely the case. You know what, I'm gonna, no, why'd I do that? Why'd I, ooh, come on. Just do that. If I could just get some plant food, that'd be perfect, but I'm not gonna get no plant food. I know this game too well. <laughs> I get no plant food. Come on, another 200 sun? Wouldn't be so bad right now, right? Come on, game. What are you doing? Okay, activate the lawnmower. I wish it could be any other way, but it can't. <laughs> it cannot be any other way. I need to do this because I need more plants. There we go. Oh man, uh, bowling bulb there. So that did help me sort of get to where I need to be. In some instances. The problem is I really probably needed it. No, don't, don't, okay. That's actually fine. Do that. Ooh, that was close. Hey, buddy, watch what you're doing over there. And up there and over everywhere. Just stop. Stop it. <laughs> Cease. Cease your actions. Please. Pretty please. Okay, come on, come on. Let's just keep it moving. We have a bowling bulb on every lane. Somehow we managed to make that happen. I just need more sun for more sunflowers, for more plants, for more sun. Just a never end, never ending cycle. And to get more rotabigas out just to add to the action. I mean, I'm very worried about the infinite's charge here. Because once that's done, everything's gonna go downhill. But if I could get 500 sun. Hey! I can't believe you just did that, you big bully! Come on! No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. I can't do anything about that. No, I'm gonna lose them all. That's it. So this is sort of what I'm ed edging towards, I guess, is that the Primal Sunflower might be the best for this level because I need something that'll produce sun faster than the, the Twin Sunflower, but also more sun than the normal Sunflower. The Sun Shroom won't do it because it needs more, like you need eight tiles of Sun Shrooms to really make that work, especially at the beginning. So I'm thinking like that won't really work too well. And what I think I wanna do is just like one row Primal Sunflowers, try to get the Infinite up as soon as possible, but also along with that, try to get behind each Infinite a Bong Choy, 
So let's just get a Bong Choy up here to deal with this guy right away. And we're already getting three Sunflowers up. So like this is sort of bouncing out pretty well so far. And hopefully by the time the first Fisherman Zombie comes up, I'll have things going on well enough so that I don't have to worry too much about anything else. We'll have to wait and see. Like if I could just get a plant food on, you know, on the infinite as soon as physically possible because it seems to last forever the only uh thing that you know really matters is when it gets destroyed by taking too much damage so as soon as i get plant food plop it on the infinite get that going on i mean i don't know when that'll be is the big scare and i think when the infinite gets taken out that doesn't count as losing a plant because it'll recharge like that's its point right so i would really hope so We'll find out. But now I you know I just gotta earn up more of everything. Mostly bonk choy. Okay, this guy's a little bit closer, so I'll focus on him. And we just really, really gotta hope I can get the bonk choy before this guy shows up. Got it. I am so nervous right now. I gotta be honest, I am so nervous. Cause like this just might not work. And I'm back to the drawing boards all over again. But this is where I could maybe potentially rush a banana. And just in case I'm ever in like a super duper tight situation, boom, hit something with a banana. And then I can keep doing that. We're halfway there to earning it up. These two Bong Choy should be able to handle this. These cone heads, Bong Choy's can handle cone heads pretty well. It's when they get to like bucket head and above where it becomes a little bit more problematic. I just gotta hope that the infinites can hold on, but we got our first banana. I'm gonna launch it here because that guy can just sort of sneak up in a way that's not too helpful. Yeah, we're just gonna keep with that for as long as possible. Keep it going. Because this is super defensive, and that's sort of what we need. Because I've tried a couple times now, just like different things that usually just instantly get taken out. Uh, Let's do that. Got it, okay, so I need to put that, I'm gonna put it somewhere inconspicuous, like the second to the top. Now they don't know which one, it makes it a bit of a mystery, right? And that way, if they still get past the wall, they still also have to get past a couple of infinites. And I feel like maybe that's the key here, maybe? And now we can just dedicate all of our sun, hopefully, to um, using the bananas. Just like that, got some coins out of it. Sort of wish I had another one, so I could deal with that guy. Uh, because that's actually a problem, isn't it? Um. Maybe it won't be, but it probably will be. Please don't slam it on the infinite. Please don't, please don't. Banana! Ah, you are such a stinker! Also, where do we lose the other plant? It must have been a uh, lily pad of some kind. Okay, get the, I don't need to get the imp out of here. Okay, watch it, watch it. And just to be sure, I'm gonna do that. There we go. Then I just gotta pay extra, extra attention to the plant food. Or not to the plant food, to the shield, so I know when to put more plant food on it. So like maybe I, oh, I need a banana for this guy as soon as possible, because if not, I'm in so much trouble. Okay, here we go, here we go. Get him, get him, get him. No! Why does that happen that way? Come on, get rid of this guy. I need to get rid of them then, before they even get there, which means we need a lot of bananas. So this guy has to go. I'm gonna set up another one of these just to be safe. Because, oh, I see why we're losing so much. When, there we go. Let's get rid of that too. Um, oh no, maybe that was bad timing. That was the worst timing. Okay, then I need to do a bit of this too. But when the surfboard slams onto the thing, when the surfboard slams onto the, onto the infinite, it's getting rid of both the infinite and the lily pad, thus destroying two plants. That's maddening, because <laughs> I'm doing everything I can here. Trying to do everything right, by the books, by the almanac. But I just, I can't, it was just too tough. Oh no, that was a waste of banana right there. I'm trying to be available for if some surfing zombies are showing up and they're showing up pronto. Get that one, come on bananas, come on bananas, come on bananas, come on bananas. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this operation, hit everything with a banana. Okay, that actually worked out pretty well. Oh no, oh no. And the problem is a surfing zombie could still show up at any point. No, the gargantua is gonna be a problem. Gargantua is gonna be a problem. Gargantua problem. Oh, was that a mistake? That might have been the biggest mistake of all time. But I don't know. I need more plant food, but I don't have no plant food. Stop doing this, please, 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 please. I beg of you. I beg of you. I beg of you. Stop. No. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. I don't have too much time here. 
I don't have too much time. I don't have too much time. I don't have too much time. And I'm freaking out. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, did that count? No! <laughs> ah! Why? All right, I'm just trying to be prepared for whatever surfing zombie show up. I'm sort of letting the bong choy sort of do their thing beyond that. Okay, I got you. And then I need to focus on this guy as soon as possible. Got him, before we get through an octopus, that's perfect. Uh, and if, as soon as I get this plant fit on the bottom, I need to apply it because this could end at any moment. So I need to do this and then do it. Oh, because that just ended too, yikes, that was close. So I need to get rid of these guys to eliminate the uh, risk as soon as possible. There we go, okay. Do another banana launcher because I can afford it. I've already, a surfing zombie did get rid of some. So like I need to sort of like keep this careful. I'm gonna get rid of some of these guys just because of this situation. Okay, the wall's down again. So I need to get rid of this guy. Please hit him, thank you. There we go, it's back up. I really can't do anything else with it. It has to basically be exclusively for, and then I'm gonna actually, I know this seems a little crazy. I'm gonna do that. So that I can focus on more important things because I just can't, I just can't. I cannot. There we go. The bong choy should be able to handle that. I just need to get rid of this one last fisherman. Come on, come on. Any of these bananas, feel free to line up. Oh, I could just do that too. Okay, wait, why did his head just randomly pop off? Was it because he was the last zombie? I guess so. Well, there we go. Complete a level where the fishermen fail to hook your plants. Well, thank you for that. I'm so happy we did it. I mean, I know I had to like burn through a lawnmower, but I feel like there's worse things I could have done there. I could have spent coins on a power up or something. Okay, another level done. Quite a few more left to go before we defeat Zomboss, but we just gotta keep moving. Day 29, plan your defense and defeat the zombies. These usually go either really well or really badly, but it's pretty definitive on like if it's gonna work or not. So we have 2,500 sun. I could go crazy and do five banana peels, but I don't think it's gonna work too well. So I think that for right now, I'm gonna get the whole like collection out and sort of take a look and think from there. Hmm. Yeah, just sort of get all these out for now. Like it might be good to have like one banana. I'm gonna do that. That might be a bad idea. Uh, because, yeah, I don't know. That'd be a thousand sun if I just use five of these. It doesn't sound like a good idea. I'm gonna use one of those, and then maybe a bunk choy here and like these places, and then do three. If I can get and I get plant food to start off with, this might not work. <laughs> this has a heads up disclaimer. This may not work at all. I want to speed things up for now. To sort of see where the zombies are coming in from and what types and where I should use my bananas. I'll use one banana there. And I was supposed to hit both of them. <laughs> it did not. Um, because the bong choy should be able to handle the majority of these zombies without a problem. But this is where I use that. And this is why I slowed things down, got him. And then surfboard there. Oh, let's hope that's not too soon. Perfect, got him. I just gotta pay a lot of attention of how the wall is doing. Actually, I probably shouldn't. I'm gonna hold off for now. Because I know the bong choy can handle it, so I should probably let it handle it. Come on, bong choy. You're the best. And that wall's not blinking yet, so don't have to worry about it too much. Get rid of you, get rid of you, and get rid of you. No more, okay? No more. Just for a couple of moments. When the wall starts blinking, okay, now I'm in trouble over there. Um, I'm gonna put the wall out. 
Let's see if you can't knock him out. Like the surfboard shouldn't do anything, right? Because there's a thing shielding it. You're kidding me. That is so unfair. Like the game like should by principle not work that way because that doesn't make any sense. I don't know what to do about this lane. I might just have to redo this and uh, save my bananas better. But like, I don't see how I could possibly do that. Like even there, it's just like, come on. I'm gonna get rid of these and hope I get some extra sun. I get 25 extra, not even 10 extra sun. Well, thank you, I guess. So I need to get rid of you. So I feel like my setup isn't bad. The game just wasn't nice to me there. Cause there's no way I, oh, come on. Why is I not hitting both of them? <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to get rid of you. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm about to ready to be re restarting this, but I mean, I'll try my best. Why didn't this do anything? I don't know, like I feel like the bananas aren't working right. My bananas are busted. That's not good. Okay, how many times are we gonna get surfers on this lane? Uh, I'm gonna do that. This is my last bit of plant food. This is all I get. So chances are looking pretty high I'm about to lose, but I'm gonna do what I can. Okay, here we go. Okay, there goes a bong choy over there. And there's no physical way for me to get that bong choy back. And the wall's about to fall, so like, this is this is done. This is over. But at least we tried. And I think that like I can do it this way. I just need some adjustments. Come on. Okay, got rid of him. And this is the last wave, so technically I could survive on lone mowers here, and I'm tempted just to let that be. Uh I'm gonna let this lawnmower run, so I just have another lawnmower. I mean, so I have another banana plant I can actually actively use. There we go. Uh, I wanna see if I can at least get rid of the gargantuar. There's no way I'm getting rid of those guys in the top, so I'm not even trying. Uh, do this. I might be able to get away with only losing two lawnmowers, that is. Come on, come on, I need a little bit more banana action. A little bit more. No, not gonna help me at all there. Well, thanks, I guess. Thanks for nothing. All right, looks like I'm gonna lose three lawnmowers then, unless this banana pops up just right now. It's not going to. Yeah, whatever. I tried. I, I It's still a win. A win is a win, right? <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, but there we go. Three more levels left to do. Day 30, level objective, survive and protect the endangered plants. Oh no. This could be tough. Cause like, you can't, use the guacodile in the way that you would use a guacodile then. Some people have been telling me to use magnifying grass. I'm just tempted, just for the fun of it, partly. Um, and to see if it would really work out for me, you know? Like, I could try it. Because I'm trying to, you know, do different strategies you guys are suggesting. So like, what, what if we did Colonel Pult, all of these, and magnifying grass? Probably not gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. I'm going to try it. We'll see how it goes. And I'll hope for the best. The problem right now is I just don't really have too much real estate to work with. But luckily we do have Glockadows that should protect us for these couple of first zombies. We have one, two, three, four flags to survive. The magnifying grass would be great if we could actually, if we could get sun earned up to that point, that'd probably work out great. So my best bet is probably use that plant food on twin sunflowers as much as I possibly can for the first while. That'd probably be my best bet, yeah. Just earn up a crazy amount of sun because we're gonna need it, obviously. Uh, that is quickly becoming apparent. Uh, another twin sunflower, maybe. Which lane is looking the worst? Just because there's a zombie closest doesn't mean it won't get taken out, so don't always assume that's the case. Um, there we go. That's a very expensive strategy. <laughs> not to say it's not worth it, but it's a very expensive strategy. Can I, can I get another one? Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. Stop daring to do that. That's not gonna hit you at all. That's just a waste of magnifying grass. I don't like this sometimes, I gotta be honest. Stop. Okay, I had to do that. And now I can't. Oh, there goes that strategy right away. It just like, you really get a, like a really strangled limit on how many fun strategies you can do when, you know, it's just like, okay, 50 zombies, here you go. 
So I might do it a little bit di different this time. Another zombie with plant food shows up almost right after this, so I'm gonna set this up for right now. And just try to get some more twin sunflowers out while that gets dealt with. Um, come on now, I just need one more twin sunflower. And then after that, I can start doing the magnifying grass. So I can, there we go. I don't have any more sun right now, but now I do. And I can just set up another thing because I really need that. And that didn't actually do anything up there. Come on. This is almost working, but also not really. And that's really upsetting because it's like, I'm almost there. Don't you dare, come on, actually get him. Please, just actually get him. <laughs> Go on, game. There we go. Keep it moving. Get this here. Use the seaweed against this guy just for a little bit more time. I know the strategy can work is the thing that's so tough about this. It's just a little bit more. I've seen a little bit more of everything. There we go. If I can get some more plant food, we'll be rolling. There we go. Okay. He's back in the water. Let's do that. And will that actually, no, that'll go right over their heads. So don't do that. <laughs> Keep that in mind, don't do that. Okay, this guy's going down. And I'll get this here. Oh no, uh, let's see how well this does. Oh, that does fantastic. Okay, so that's where the real strength of this comes in. Oh no. Come on, can I get rid of this guy? Come on, can I get rid of this guy? How many hits do these guys need? <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Because I was just like smacking them over and over and nothing happened there. Did they get blocked by the, by the, the surfing board? I don't know, that didn't seem right. That didn't seem right at all. Oh gosh, come on. There we go, he's finally done. You're finished, buddy. Mm, maybe I'm finished. No, my magnifying grass. You guys are the worst, I hope you know. The worst of all time. I'm activating this here. Oh yeah, I'm done. There's no way. Okay, I've, I gave an honest try at this strategy. It's not gonna work. It's not. I just, at this point I can maybe use some plant food. Sneak in a couple stuff like this, just to get me a little bit farther ahead. And of course he's still kicking. Oh man. Come on, come on. Just a little bit more, so I only have two twin sunflowers left, so this isn't gonna work, but. And that just isn't enough. Just not enough. Yeah, I'm done. Sorry there, Guacodile. Gotta figure something else out. Okay, that might actually work. Uh, I'm gonna have to try that a little bit more in just a moment. Okay, get this. No, don't move my twin sunflowers. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Just do this, there we go. Oh boy. I'm trying the Snapdragon. A lot of people have suggested the Snapdragon. I'm just trying different strategies that you guys have suggested because I don't know what else I'm doing. <laughs> it's too difficult to figure anything else out. Okay, just do the tank will kill for the fisherman for now. I might actually have to do two rows of twins so far because what I could do afterwards is replace them and do magnifying grass. Like, that might be a good bet as well. Yeah, keep that going on. Okay. And we just need a little bit more. There we go. At least now we got those Snapdragons figured out. And we got a lot of sun pouring in. Maybe some of those that can turn into banana pulse, some of those that can turn into magnifying grasses or something. Um, but the Snapdragons definitely seem to be helping because of their area of effect. I do have enough for a banana pulse. It's tempting. I'll try it and we'll see if I regret it. <laughs> Let's hope I don't regret it, because I know that Gargantua's gonna come in sooner or later as well. That's gonna be tough. Okay, so first off, just Tangle Kelp you. I can use the Banana Pult against something else, and I'll probably be better. Like that guy. Ooh, maybe that was a mistake, because now I have this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try to stop him that didn't stop him. Oh, well, it sort of kinda did, but also not really. What can I say, this game's evil. <laughs> I've been saying that a lot recently. I really feel like it's the case, too. And then like all these guys pop up, and there's it's nearly impossible to do anything about that. I just want everybody to know. That's just insane what they're asking of me there. I'm gonna, oh, how did they get the banana over here? No, wait, did I miss, oh, they moved the banana. That's what happened. I probably should have put that stuff against 
Oh man, it's just, it's ridiculous. And there goes a 500 sun plant because once again, the game is evil. I feel like this sort of kind of worked, but also sort of kind of didn't work whatsoever. Okay, get that there. Get a Tangle Kelp on you. Wait, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. That's not gonna hit anybody. Oh no. Get a Snapdragon there. Banana peel there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I almost have enough sun for another banana, which might be my best bet. Okay, more plant food. I gotta put it on that. I wish I had some other choice. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me with this. You're kidding me. <laughs> That's insane. But we're, we're sort of kind of doing it. I'm gonna do a little bit, maybe that was a waste of sun. I don't know, we'll find out. Okay, got rid of him. I got a banana this guy. I don't have like any Snapdragons left. I'm trying to change that now. Oh wait, they got rid of my, uh, oh darn. Yeah, they super duper got rid of my one infinite that I had. The one thing I could say was my own. I just need more plant food for it now is the problem. Oh no, here come the surfboards. Moments, I mean moments after I use all the banana stuff. Get rid of this guy. Get rid of this guy. Oh, it might actually work out still. Somehow it sort of kind of did, but also geez and almost in it. It really close to almost in there. Uh, Come on, can, can we get the scuba diver? Okay, we need to get this guy one way or another, one way or another. He has plant food. Give me that plant food. Put it there, come on. Why is this not working? I don't know, I'm clicking the button. Nothing was happening. Let's put this here, I need to. Okay, I didn't wanna have to do this, but I think that, you know, it's a necessity. I'm just gonna do that. Oh gosh, the wall's about to be it, be done. It's almost over. Come on, we can do this. I know we can. Get another one there. Bananas are working. The bananas are working. Okay, we just had to use our lawnmower against that one zombie. It might, it might have not even been necessary. We could have survived, but I wasn't risking it. I don't wanna do this again. <laughs> Okay, well, we got it done. I'm so glad to say day 30 is completed. One more day before Zomboss. So what do we get inside of this pinata? Hopefully something good for all of our efforts. We get 100 coins, maybe? I think we should be able to get enough. Yep, for a banana launcher level up. Four experience for the Guacodile. I really, really hope it's an easy level just to sort of calm our nerves a little bit before Zomboss. We'll have to wait and see. All right, day 31, level objective. Survive the zombie attack with the given plants. Okay, once again, these are usually either really good or really bad. What plants are you giving me? Lily pad. Oh, we got the thistle, the homing thistle. Walnut. Uh, oh, we get the bean. Yeah, we get the sunbean and the tangle kelp. So I'm guessing I'm gonna do that right away. Let's try it. I don't see what else I could really do here. I just need to get 250 as soon as possible. Um, is that gonna be possible? I need a hundred more sun. I don't know. Come on, come on, one more, one more, one more. You can do it, game. Give me one more, there it is. My strategy might be a bit wrong there, to be honest with you, I have no clue. Uh, <laughs> come on, now it's just about earning up as many homing thistles as I possibly can. So I need to put this here. Mm-hmm. Okay. And as soon as it can give me another homing thistle, things will turn out pretty well. Well, that's a while away from them. There's a lot of zombies. <laughs> a lot of zombies. And like, obviously this helps, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. If I could just get one more Tangle Kelp, I think that'll turn everything for the better here. Come on. Just a little bit more. If I could get one more sun from the sky even. There it is, another Tangle Kelp. Now please don't let that one zombie eat us. I'm gonna put a Tangle, not a Tangle Kelp, you know what I mean. Homing Thistle, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh boy, I think I wanna put these one ones a little closer now. Cause now I feel like I'm gonna be in big trouble. So I actually don't think it would be that bad of an idea to, well actually, let's just do this and that. 
Try to get rid of this guy as soon as possible. I'm trying to earn up that plant food. I don't know if I want to use the the thing, the uh, plant food against the sunbeam or sun sun bean. That's what I meant. I'm very confused for a moment. Let's try this out. Gives me a good chunk of sun. That's at least something. Okay, I gotta stop you. I don't know how I'm doing that. Uh, yeah, I do not know how I'm doing that. Oh boy. I just might let him do his thing. Because I don't know, I don't see what other option I have. We're sort of kind of coming up. Okay, and there goes the surfboard. What a pain in the butt. Don't let that happen. Uh, this is where we use this. This is where we do this and we get rid of as many zombies as possible. It sort of kind of worked. Sort of kind of did it. Oh no, there we go, caught him. There we go. I need a little bit more sun so we can get another thistle. This is both a really tough level, but also not too bad. <laughs> it's weird in the middle. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to get rid of some of these dudes, but I need more sun. I need to stop doing this the way I'm doing it. Okay, well that's a problem, the octopus guy. I just used the seaweed. That's really messing me up. Okay, I get one of these. That's at least good. Uh, come on, Tangle Kelp, I need more. I might just keep him behind the walnuts I already have. Come on, get him, please get him. Please get him, please get him. It didn't! Why does it do that? <laughs> that is the most frustrating thing. I gotta be honest, how it just like, clearly like that zombie that it got wasn't even on the tile I put the Tangle Cup. I was clearly trying to get the octopus zombie. Why does it have to be that way? And now if I do, it's gonna get that brown coat that's on top of him. It's like that's the whole point of the Tangle Cup is to be useful. Don't make it do non-useful things. Okay, there we go. Cheese Louise. Use more plant food then if I have to. I need to tangle kelp this guy. Can you stop that over there, sir? I wanna report you to the the zombie authorities. We'll probably just give you a promotion. So that might not be a good idea. Oh boy. This guy has to stop. <laughs> he has to cease his actions immediately. He's not going to, <laughs> but I really, really wish he would. Cause I all gotta do this. Don't you dare! Oh boy. Come on, 250 sun. That doesn't sound too bad, right? But for whatever reason, it always is. Okay, this guy doesn't actually even have anything to attack. Ha, how does that feel? Fish ain't biting today. I don't know what to do about this, cause it's not gonna get him. It's gonna get a brown coat, which isn't helpful in the slightest. I just cannot earn up more sun for the life of me for this. Come on, come on, if I could get one more piece of sun from the sky. Just one more, here come the, and this is where I was supposed to use all the plant food, by the way, <laughs> for this guy. Okay, you know what? Best bet is doing this. I know I've been using a lot of lawn mowers, but what other choice do I got? There we go, there we go, there we go. And we did it. I can't believe it. I mean, maybe we could have survived, maybe. I'm not expecting that we would have. Uh, I mean, I guess like it would've just went up to the lawnmower and hit it that way. So maybe I should've held on, but I didn't know what else was coming at us, so I just did what I had to do, but there's one level remaining! It is the fight Dr. Zomboss, we're gonna do it, and he's gonna be defeated. Oh boy, here he is. Big bad Zomboss, day 32 of Big Wave Beach. We finally made it. After many tears, many tears. <laughs> we, we finally got here. It's been, it's been a tough journey. Oh, it's not quite finished until we beat this guy. You beach bums, or yo beach bums, don't flip your lid. But have you noticed that Chomper and Bikini Zombie have been ultra cozy lately? Could a beachside plant zombie romance be in bloom? Speaking of which, how sure are you of your Chomper's loyalties? I can't help but notice that plant has a, the appetite of a zombie. Chew on that, land lovers. Later, dudes. Dr. Zomboss. I don't think Chomper would ever turn on us. A plant zombie romance, Penny. My mind is blown. User Dave, do not jump to conclusions. I suggest something more productive. Let us jump into the action. <laughs> oh man, there's sharks. Uh-oh. Whoa, what is happening? Uh-oh, oh, it's a robot shark. Oh no. <laughs> 
This doesn't seem very good at all. Oh, we got a banana, banana, banana launcher, though. Oh no, 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 my banana launcher! <laughs> you monster! I just put that there. Can I tangle kill the sharks? I'm, I'm guessing that I can't. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put this over here this time. I learned my lesson. Oh, homing thistle, for sure. Let's put that like over here. Uh, I would like to get you immediately. All right, I don't know what he's gonna do next, but I can at least do this. I can, uh, I definitely gotta do this with the banana launcher. Maybe I should have waited until, okay, he's out and about now, but I think it's a little too late. Oh yeah, the lily pads, I guess, got their plant move now. They, they didn't have that before, did they? Where did they get that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um. Oh gosh, this is a lot. This is a bunch. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I need to actually use that. Did I put that in the right? No, I didn't, of course not. <laughs> oh boy, come on, come on, this is intense. This is real intense. I'm out of plants right now though. Come on, he's almost done his first, his first phase here. Whoa, the sharks are eating up the plants. This is scary. I generally don't like this. Oh gosh, come on, come on. Let's put this here. Yeah, really chew through them. Okay, I actually need to, wait. No, it didn't work. Uh, do this, do that. Grab, okay, good enough. I'm not really using the guacadiles as much, not the guacadiles, the banana launchers as much as I should be. I'm trying now. Well, they go up and down as well. Okay, I didn't realize that. The, uh, the super powered lily pad. Hey, stop doing that. Wait for it to end, and then I'll pull out some more, and I'll put this here. That, that is actually really useful, how much it spreads. Will that actually do anything? Probably not. Oh, no, there it goes. I, I wasted that. Oh, no, did it? Okay, it might have landed on him, actually. Put this here. Don't know if that'll actually work. Where are you gonna go? You're gonna go over here. So I probably don't wanna... Yeah, waiting for that. No, my only thistle. What a shame. Okay, we're, this is just like weirdly slow paced. I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's like gonna knock land. Oh, that might have landed. It's hard to tell. Oh gosh, here we go again. I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna wait for that to end and then I'll do this. I need more banana launchers as soon as possible. I've got more lily pads I know what to do with. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, now I know what to do with them. Hold on to them until I need them, because I'm gonna probably need them soon. There we go. I'm gonna do this, and then maybe do a bit of this. Oh, that'll be good, actually. That'll be real good. Oh, that really beat him up. Nice. Wacodile, do your thing. That sort of worked. Come on, come on. I need to get rid of this Gargantuar before anything else. We've never lost this on boss battle. I'm not starting now. I can tell you that much. Oh, here we go. Here we go, that could be ma some major Major damage to boss. It definitely did, whoa, quite a lot. Get more plant food. Get the bananas over here. Okay, now I need more lily pads. <laughs> Let's do something like that, I guess. More homing thistles, more bowling bulbs. Okay, that damaged some of those guys. Let's do that again, actually, yeah. Okay, plant food. Got a banana, this guy. I got some more. Uh. Probably should have used that with the surfing dude up there. Okay, do this, do this, do this. A lot is going on. Oh, he is almost down. Let's get more bananas on him in a moment. Like this, like this, like this. Come on, ready for this? This could be it right here. Let's see how much damage this does. Oh, that does a ton. That does a ton, he's in trouble. He's in big trouble. Oh, just a little bit more. Come on guys, you can do it. Do this, do this, do this. Oh, I think we almost got him there too, darn. Okay, um, there it goes, we got him! The giant Zomba shark has been taken down. Wave goodbye, complete big wave beach. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it actually happened. We did it! A planned zombie romance, that's just crazy. And I know a thing or two about crazy. I concur. I suspect Dr. Zomboss was attempting to sow seeds of discontent. From now on, we are the only ones sowing seeds around here. Man, oh man. 
totally bogus. Little do you know what I have in store for you. The seeds of destruction have been planted. Brace yourselves for a wipeout. For, but for now, I got a split. Catch you dweebs later. All right, well, Zell must have been defeated yet again. And we get ourselves a surfing zombie trophy. How cool is that? We get the Big Wave Beach trophy. You've defeated Dr. Zomboss's creation, the Zombot Sh Sharktronic Sub. Wow. And of course, we're gonna get another pinata for that, which will have ba -ba -da -ba, 500 coins. It's gonna have two experience for the bowling bulb. And it's going to have two experience for the banana launcher, which I still need to level up. Two more experience for the tangle kelp and two experience for the lily pad. Anything more? Yeah, five experience for the guacanai, which actually is getting close to level three. How cool is that? So there we go. After several very difficult episodes, we have done it. We defeated Zomboss in Big Wave Beach. Alrighty, that is just such a sight to behold. Every single level in Big Wave Beach done. I gotta be honest, I might talk about this a little bit in the next episode where we play uh, Endless Mode, but I'm thinking that starting in the final area that we have, which is going to be, of course, present day, I'm not gonna do every eight levels, I'm gonna do every four, because this episode for me is an hour and a half long, and I just, I, I, I know a lot of people want daily PVZ2 videos, I can't do daily PVZ2 videos, and then be an hour and a half long, there's just not enough time in the day for me to record, edit, render, produce, all of that. So I think that's what we're gonna do in present day is start doing four levels at a time. It might be a little shorter, but it should still be pretty long because the levels are taking a lot more time and effort now. But with that being said, next episode we'll do Tiki Torture, the endless mode for Big Wave Beach. But that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plans vs. Zombies 2. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Shark so you watch the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.